Welcome to the Boat Buyer Secret Weapon. I am your host, Captain Matt. Today, we're talking about careers in the boat business. I've had some questions on a few of my lives about, hey, what would you recommend getting in the boat business? So I figured I would do a top 10 of reasons to get into the boat business, why I love it, and why it could be right for you. Number one, there's a huge demand for skilled workers uh, in the industry, really all over the all over the nation, uh, plumbers, welders, electricians, um, anybody that... Um, that has a skill to make things happen uh, is uh, is in demand. Good pay, career advancement, variety, working around boats and around water, working with your hands if you enjoy that. Even as a salesperson, I was I was always doing something different, but I was working with my hands. I would be wiping down boats or fixing this and and doing my sales job as well. It's a fun work environment with great people. Quality and hard work are rewarded. We'll talk about that in just a second. There's industry perks. I've got to do some amazing things because I was in the industry. And there's scholarships available, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. But I'll tell you, um, the the story that I think encapsulates the marine industry and all of this the most is uh, Rob Parmentier. He was the president of the Sea Ray, has run several other boat brands uh, since he left Sea Ray. Larson is one of them. He started on the shop floor uh, of Sea Ray, sweeping up the floor, and he progressed his way up to being CEO of a multi, multi million dollar company um, and had tremendous success, had tremendous respect because he had opportunity was there. He worked hard. He had quality work. He took advantage of everything that was there and, um, and and the career advancement took him to the highest level that you could imagine. And, and I always thought that was uh, kind of indicative of the boating industry, whether it's a dealer where you can start as a marine technician, an apprentice, a rigger, boat washer or a detailer, a yard crew or a boat porter, just kind of a jack of all trades around the dealership. Something needs to be, get done. You call the yard crew or a boat porter, and they get it done. Um, temporary summer help. If you're a high school kid, you, my buddy was wash boats in high school um, for a dealership in Nebraska. Not a hotbed of boating activity, you wouldn't think, but there's opportunities everywhere. Boat sales is how I got my start into the industry. A boat builder. They are having career fairs um, all the time right now. Builders around the nation, welders, lamination specialists, assemblers, fitters, installers, sewers, materials, uh, buyers, boat haulers. And if you want to work on the water, boat clubs are hiring a lot of people in the on-season. Dock hands and attendance at a marina. A DNR officer, our park ranger, we interviewed some folks from uh, the Minnesota DNR that worked in various different um, bodies of water. A captain, get your captain's license and you can work for a CETO or a Boat US or a ferry captain or there's a number of things that you can do there uh, if you take the right courses and have the right experience. A marine surveyor. And, and be on the water all of the time in a variety of things, working with fun people, doing some very, very cool things. And if you just if you go to whatever job search board you want, uh, this is on on um, just Google. There were 60 jobs just in my local area in the Carolinas. If you looked at Carolina overall, 73 jobs. Um, if you looked in Florida, 602 jobs in Florida, um, and, and the pay, you know, t up to $24 an hour, 60 to 80,000 a year. And the pay is, is good. If you say, Hey, I don't have any skills. I don't know how to do anything. There's schools for that. They've got the Marine Mechanics Institute, um, UTI, Mercury, Yamaha, Suzuki, Volvo, all of them have schools that you can go to. A guy I worked with at the dealership started as a, a yard guy, um, you know, just doing work around the around the yards of the dealership, putting boats in and out, uh, whatever needed to be done. He showed initiative, he showed drive, and he said, hey, I would like to be a technician. He started doing an apprentice in the shop, helping out. They said, hey, this guy's got the skills that we need. He's a hard worker. Um, and they sent him to Mercury school, 
and he got certified in Mercury and Mercruiser, and now he's one of the best technicians at the dealership. Uh, and he progressed his way up from a young kid working at the you know as a, a yard guy, um, and uh, has worked his way up to being a well paid technician, well respected technician. So if you want to do this on your own, you can one. You can go to a dealership or just visit different marine businesses in your area. Say, hey, I'm considering getting into the industry. You can probably, if you approach them on their schedule, uh, a time that's convenient for them in the off-season typically, have a conversation. You'll find opportunities very easily just by walking in the door and talking to folks. Uh, But if you want to just go to school and be able to have a little bit more control over where you work. Um, Mike Rowe works. Uh, Mike Rowe is the host of Dirty Jobs, uh, the host of the The Way I Heard It podcast. He's a, a, I really enjoy a lot of what he says, what he stands for of filling the skills gap of, hey, college isn't for everybody. Doing uh, uh, having a skilled trade, a skilled job um, is something that is is what we need. And there's a whole bunch of people out there that college is not right for and that you want to work with your hands. You want to do something tangible. You want to build something. You want to fix something. And those are our jobs that are in high demand right now all over the place. The pay is incredible. There's no college debt, um, and, and you can jump right in. And that's kind of the message that he talks about with this foundation. They also have millions of dollars in scholarships that they give out. They call it the Work Ethic Scholarship, and it matches with if you're willing to put in the effort and you have the desire um, and you want to do something tangible, They'll give you scholarships to attend a program like a Marine Mechanics Institute, like a welding uh, school, a trade school, and have a well-paying job right out of the gate because these are so in demand. There was a girl that he interviewed on his podcast the other day, Chloe, that is a welder. She was getting out of high school and said, hey, I want to be a, a, in the medical field. I want to be a surgeon. She started looking at it and said, I can't afford to pay. My parents can't afford to pay for, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to go through school and then make that amount of money. I enjoy working with my hands. She went to welding school with the work ethic scholarship, and now she works less than an hour from me here at uh, Joe Gibbs Racing um, as a welder. And she said she was making over six figures well over six figures and doing something that she really loved. Uh, And it started with this work ethic scholarship. So if you're interested, you can check that out. Just do a search of boat jobs in your area or marine technicians, uh, boat builders, whatever it is that, that you might be interested in, especially if you want to be in Florida or anywhere around water, the opportunities are endless. And my advice is, it's a great industry. I'm so glad I got into this industry uh, when I did. And it was because a lot of these things, I wanted a place where I could advance. I wanted a place where I could be around water, be around boaters and fun people. I, I didn't want to sit in a cubicle and do the same thing all day. I'd done that for a decade and it, it's, it wasn't for me. Um, and, and I'm so glad I made the switch. If it's right for you, check it out. We would love to have more dedicated people that are looking to make a difference, work hard, uh, and advance and be successful. Leave advice that could be valuable for somebody looking to get into the industry if you're in the industry as well. Thanks a lot. Remember, life truly is better on a boat.